first team faced their toughest challenge of the season so far, playing away to their Upton Park landlords, West Ham. Here's Hammers commentator, Martin Goddleman. Close season's activities at the club have seen Stuart Slater finally depart as Celtic to join Liam Brady for £1.5 million. Halifax-born Peter Butler has been signed from South End for £170,000. That was a fee uh, decided by a tribunal, and he'll be playing in the number eight shirt today. He made his debut last weekend at Barnsley. We also have Mark Robson wearing number 14 today. Last weekend was a substitute also against Barnsley. He was a free transfer in the close season from Spurs, and he's a right winger. Now I have a look at the Charlton side. Opponents and fellow host Charlton have also had a superb start to the season, winning here last weekend at 3-1 against Grimsby Town and then capturing an impressive 1-0 away win at Cambridge United on Tuesday night. Charlton narrowly missed out on qualification for the then second division playoffs last season will prove tough opposition for the Hammers today. Ex-Chelsea star John Bunsid missed the Grimsby match through injury but is back today to strengthen Steve Gritt and Alan Kerbis' squad. Kick off right on the dot. Referee Durkin gets us away. Charlton's Walsh intercepted by Bishop. Very short hair. Back from the back looking a little bit like his uh, great friend Trevor Morley. A good back flick from Small. He won't be ruled out for this match. Chance here for Keane. Opportunity, and it's a back flick. Came off Alan Pardew, chance number four. And really looking dangerous there. An early opportunity for West Ham. Darren Pitcher with the throw. Gets the ball back. And this time, first time, left footed. Ball headed across the goal, and an early opportunity there for Pardew. I think he made the mistake of looking for Dyer instead of heading goalwards. He did have something of a free header on the corner of the six-yard box there and might have made more of it. Good place kick, fine small. Bishop, a rather lazy first-time ball from here, which uh, Alan Dyer um, trying to get to Bunstead put down the line. Colin Walsh with the throw. Oh, it's into Dyer. Oh, and a bad miss kick from Bishop. And really... A good stop from uh, Mikosko from Alan Pardew. And Bishop could have been made to regret that. Rather an ambitious attempt at a clearance. Left Pardew with a free shot, but well held by Mikosko. Breaker looking for someone to find. He's found Paris. The ball to Alan. Good turn from Alan. Nice ball to Mike Small. Mike Small cuts inside. Well, Mike drive right shot. Oh, he's the post. Brilliant play from Mike Small. Brilliant shuffle from him as he cut inside his man and hit that first time shot. Bowler was completely beaten. It came cannoning back off his left hand post. Butler. Right in the thick of things. A beautiful back header from Small. Looking for Keane. Doesn't make it. Butler again. Keane just got the little flick on it. Nearly found Martin. Good touch from Dyer. He's shown some skill in the centre of the park for Charlton today. And a lovely ball to Lee from the... Uh, Charlton's number 10, Nelson, but in the end, uh, Fox had made a lot of ground to get back to it. Oh. But again, the player's forgetting about this back pass rule, and uh, McCosco's got to really keep his wits about him. I think the ref, the uh, referee's got to keep an eye, eye on things too, but the goalkeeper under enormous pressure early on in the season to remember that he must not pick the ball up. Oh, and here's an opportunity for Charlton. It's Gary Nelson. And a brilliant save from McCosco. He did everything right, he held back, he didn't come out. And as Nelson advanced, Mikosko just took a couple of steps forward, narrowed the angle and uh, with a right hand, turned Nelson's shot round the corner. Brilliant save, West Ham's goalkeeper, Ludet Mikosko. Once you can hear shouting above all the others is Peter Butler. He really is getting stuck into this uh, his new role, midfield general. Robert Lee, good diagonal run and uh, good ball inside to Pardew, but uh, yet again it's that man, Butler. However, only finds Bumstead. Pitcher. It's a good ball, plenty of space for Nelson. Little ball inside for Lee. Lee goes round pot, turns the ball across, it's out. Alan Pardew puts Charlton ahead. 
right on the stroke of the half hour. It was a brilliant piece of skill. Gary Nelson found a bit of space, pushed inside to Robert Lee, who went down the line, pulled the ball across, tucked in at the far post by Alan Pardew. West Ham United nil, Charlton Athletic one. Charlton's number five Webster captain standing over it with Colin Walsh. Webster might try a shot. No, this will be Walsh. Struck the West Ham wall. That came off Kevin King's back for a corner. came in from Pardew and a slice up from Martin but uh, Nikosko first for the ball the clearance is looking for King can King get in on this one very important interception by Barnes, but uh, he's under pressure but a goal kick that's it for Steve Gatting the left foot mm. Chance of Bumstead charged down by uh, Butler Steered wide to Dyer from Gatting but uh, to no effect or a veil <laughs> referee plays advantage and it could be a costly one for West Ham Dyer Blocked by a West, West Ham's number two breaker. And the return shot, slightly disappointing. Wicket comes in past you, but uh, breaker wins. Robson jumped well with Bumstead. Didn't win it, but certainly put him off. Butler trying to get in front of his man. But he didn't put him off, but he's done it this time. The break here, a chance for Robson. Try the shot. Look at Matosko taking a quick one. Mike Small. He turns! And that had definitely took a deflection off the Charlton captain Webster. But really, uh, there appears to be no space at all for Mike Small, and he just turned and whacked it. And really, without that deflection from Webster, that looks a goal all the way. I think Steve Gretton, uh, Alan Kerbyshire will be very, very pleased with their side's performance so far. They haven't buckled under the pressure that West Ham have uh, put together in the last 10 or uh, 15 minutes. Butler is trying to find Alan again, but Alan really has had uh, very little of the ball. He's seen very little of the ball today. And uh, that kind of goal poacher needs support, needs the chance to... Uh, see something of the ball in the six yard box if he's to turn it into goals not really a goal maker Alan he's a goal scorer and he needs the opportunities to come his way if he's to take them here's Robson the great shot for Robson left footed and the youngster has certainly sent his class on the game so far Connell coming from Keane this time right footed Headed out by Pardew. Opposite number four, Potts. Try and turn it back. West Ham try and keep the onside. Potts in some difficulty, but he finds his feet again. Keen on this touchline. Beautiful play from him. Gives Potts a chance to turn this one in. Potts has found Robson. Who's crossed might find Alvin Martin. And Bob Boulder went down on his knees. A great save from the veteran keeper. And Charlton scramble it away for a corner. We're nearly there, I have to say. It's a matter of what the referee feels he wants to have added on for injury time. Harris. Here's a chance for a break for West Ham, but uh, Webster heads out. Farnes wins that one. And the Walsh, any old way out. He's actually kept it in. Nelson's chasing it. 
Want a chance here. Nelson across for Dyer. And he makes a real hash of it. Alan Dyer, a desperate miss. Brilliant skills from Gary Nelson. He made the most of that, but uh, quite honestly, Dyer should have done much better. If he couldn't put it on target, he should have controlled it. And, uh, well, he will not be pleased with that one. So a let-off for West Ham, but uh, you have to say, it looks like an academic let-off. Charlton still ahead uh, in injury time. Oh, dear idea, that looks the closest they've got. Simon Webster's back header, that went flying off his bumps right towards the top right-hand corner. Bob Boulder's left. Really a, a, a tremendous save from Bob Boulder. He couldn't have expected that from his own captain. What is Small going to do here? He's got no room at all. But it's gone. And as to say, with it, it looks like West Ham's chances have gone. There can't be much longer. That looked like one of those final looks from uh, referee Durkin of Dorset. But Boulder prepares to take this goal kick. Charlton have done it. Charlton have won at their second ground, Upton Park. But they've won as the away team today in a memorable performance from the team in blue and black. The final score, West Ham United nil, Charlton Athletic 1.